Hi, this is going to be a short video about uh, Easy Movie Maker and the features in Easy Movie Maker. So I've opened up Easy Movie Maker. I'm going to select the new project, the resolution and orientation. I shall make a picture, video, but in here I'll be able to add um, videos or pictures. So. I'm going to select um, some, we'll do a bit of a movie, um, Mercury Transit and a bit of a plane transit. So I'm going to open up two images to start off with, just different photographs of Mercury. And then I'm going to add a video of An aeroplane flying through the moon. Okay, so I've got open what I want open. Um, let's go to the first picture. I can duplicate it, which will then give me two of those images, but I don't need that at the moment. Okay, so we go to edit duration of the video. Let's put it up say eight seconds animation zoom in filter there's some filters in there i never use them but they give you various different um, views so none okay, okay crop you can crop the size and rotate the image whatever you want scale is pretty much the crop um, display is where you change all your picture settings color hue sharpen you know all them sort of settings um, obviously there's an apply to all pictures if you wish This is your transition. So if we do a cross dissolve for one and a half seconds, apply to all transitions. Click OK. We want to have a look what we've done so far. So it's zooming in. Cross dissolve. Cross dissolve to the video. So if we turn to the video now, um, I can split it, which would be splitting that video into two parts as long as I want. Um, so what I can actually do is find where the plane transits there. So I pretty much don't want that part of the video. So if I split that, that's the part I don't want, the bin it. Okay. Now I can duplicate that again if I want. We go to edit, crop, because the aeroplane flies through that way. I want to turn it around and zoom in. Okay, we've got that. Much better. Volume. Right, I don't want this background noise on, so I can turn it straight off. Job done. Um, don't want to change anything on that, so we're done there. Let's see what we've got now. So you'll have a shortened video, no sound. Zooming in transitions. Okay, the video is 17 seconds long. I'm going to make that duration 8 seconds. Animation, zoom in again. No filter. 
Uh, let's just change the tint or contrast or, you know, just show you what can be done, the brightness. Um, tint. Actually, what I'm going to do, make it more warm. <coughs> Okay, that'll do. So that's done and set. So we've got our videos all set, our pictures all set how we want them. We can go to the next section. Our text input. Let's just start by putting simple welcome. I can move it around the screen wherever I want. <clears throat> when I click on here, this is your font types. Loads of fonts you can use. The font color, um, font size, center alignment. So that's the alignment inside your box, not on the picture. This is quite good, so we'll have a just for mucking about reasons you get a bit of an outline and then obviously there's a shadow which we all have uh, let's have it as white so it shows up there's a little bit of a shadow and obviously opacity start animation fade in and animation fade out Just further adjustments. Now this is the time. Oops, hang on. This is the time that the pictures, the right, the text is on the screen. Okay, happy with that. So we want to put another text in. Just plus one. Let's just put thanks for looking. See, we need this one at the end of the video. So we just simply go to the end of the video, click on the text, uh, you can do all your bits and pieces again, fade in, fade out. Okay, there we go, that's that. Now, you can add here, you can add pictures into your, or videos inside, so you got it, a, uh, you can add something into there. You know, like an inset picture or video even, but we're not gonna do that today. So, we go to text, if you want to go back onto your text, press this bit here and it brings up the text you want to go to. And then you can work on that again. But we want to add some music. Okay, so plus music. There's a library of some in, or you can use your own music. Uh, it makes no, for this, I'll pick anything. Now, clicking on here will allow us to adjust the volume of the music. So you could have your background sound and music on as well. You can uh, shorten the music music clip from the start to the finish. Our movie is 20 seconds long. So, um, I think 20 would be around about 47, wouldn't it? Fade in and out. Stop. So let's see how that starts. Okay, I've got 
the uh, view a bit too short. Yeah. So that should this time. There, that finished nicely. So this is where you save the video. Export video MP4. Select your resolution, the frame per second. File name, test. I'll just put test on this. Folder I want to save to will be no, it's telescope video easy movie maker select folder so i've got name folder size 13.7 megabytes i can use a smaller format but we'll stick to that i think this is where actually if i choose that i'm not sure if it will so if I always choose this one, that might be where you need to pay. I'm not quite sure. So submit that. It's saving. And it will play after the save as well. I hope that this video has helped you understand a bit more about Easy Movie Maker. Thanks. Thank you.